Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite products from this month, so let's jump right in. First up is this classic red polish from Essie. It's called Fifth Avenue and it's the perfect red with hints of warm undertones. This polish would create a lovely manicure for a date night and it only requires one coat because it's so pigmented. Next up is this amazing polish from Knockout Cosmetics. How cute is this bottle? I'm completely in love with the packaging. If you look closely, the bottle has the word flat written on it because it's a matte polish. I've been wearing this color with neutral outfits as it gives a wonderful pop of color and the matte finish is so chic. One of my favorite glitters this month is part of the Selena Gomez collection from Nicole by OPI and it's called Confetti Fun. A pretty fitting name seeing that this polish is like a bottle full of fun and colorful pieces of confetti glitter. Layer this polish over a plain manicure to transform it into a glitzy party on your fingertips. The next polish that I've been loving is this baby pink polish from L'Oreal in the shade The Palace Life. This is one of the polishes that I used to create last week's Pretty in Pink nail art design, which by the way, you guys have done amazing recreations of. This color is so pretty and girly and requires only two coats to get the color solid. So guys, I'm really, really obsessed right now with this polka dot collection from Maybelline Color Show, especially this one called Clearly Spotted. The polish is full of little black and white hexagons in different sizes. It reminds me so much of cookies and cream ice cream. And as you can see, I'm currently wearing this polish today layered over OPI's Alpine Snow. A striper that I've been loving this month is the Stripe Right one in yellow. The reason that I'm loving it so much is that the color is so pigmented that it easily shows up over any color with just one stroke, even black. If you're looking for a classic nude polish, this one from Sally Hansen has been my favorite this month. It's in the shade Royal Blush and it has this huge brush in it so you can cover your whole nail in just one stroke. Nude polishes help to give the illusion of longer nails and fingers and are the perfect color for the office. Another Sally Hansen polish that I've been loving this month is this beautiful coral color called Coral Reef. I've been really into coral this spring and summer, and this polish is very easy on the wallet and it's highly pigmented. Revlon Moon Candy. Oh, how I adore this polish duo. This one is called Moon Dust, and it contains black polish on one end with gorgeous flakes of iridescent glitter on the other side to layer over the black. This is one of my most recent favorites and I know I'll definitely be wearing it throughout the fall because the result is just so dark and mysterious. My favorite base coat this month that has been protecting my natural nails has been Sally Hansen's Diamond Strength Hardener. And I've been sealing in my designs all month with Essie's Good To Go Top Coat. This is a brand new bottle because I just finished my last one. I've been keeping my cuticles moisturized by using Lush's Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. It's a thick cream that's handmade at Lush and smells like lemons. I just use a tiny bit for every finger and massage it into my cuticles to help keep them soft and healthy. I've also been loving this hand sanitizer that smells like s'mores. It reminds me so much of summer bonfires. The hand cream that I've been loving all month is this one from Bliss that has macadamia oil and grape seed extract in it. I use a little bit during the day, especially after washing my hands, to restore moisture back into my skin, leaving them silky soft. For cleaning up around my cuticles after polishing, I've been seriously in love with these ITs cotton swabs. As you can see, the reason I love them so much is because one of the ends is pointy. This gives more precision when cleaning polish from your cuticles. The other side's great for quickly removing polish from your fingers. Every now and then, I like to buff my nails to give them a smooth surface by using one of these four-sided blocks. These mini ones can be found at Sephora and come in packs of three. I've also been loving these makeup sponges by Spa Resource. They're one of my favorites to use for nail art to create awesome ombre and gradient effects. Finally, these adorable midi rings have been a love of mine all month. Aren't they awesome? They sit just above the knuckle. And there you go, a bunch of my favorite products from August. What have you been loving this month? Let me know down in the comments. Take care, and I'll see you next time.